Mataji tip 15. But what was the beginning of our training? You know, when I look back, it's 21 years. And now I can see we had to start at the beginning. For us, the Westerners, who had nothing, no knowledge of this teaching, and me, at 50 years old, I had to come into it just to see if there was an answer. And that's what drew me to it. I remember the first night with Bhante Vimala Ramsey at the temple in Washington, D.C., the Washington Buddhist Vihara on 16th Street. I remember we sat down. He gave brief instructions. We sat for one half hour and we were doing the breathing meditation. And when we finished, after our 30 minutes, he spoke to us very briefly. <coughs> so the question is, where did he begin? Well, he began at the beginning. And the beginning for us was just how Siddhartha went on a quest. He started with the Four Noble Truths. And these Four Noble Truths are vitally important today. Because why? Well, mostly because they are being changed by people unconsciously who are teaching with English as a second language. And it is not understood that if you change these truths, you change everything. The Four Noble Truths basically should always stay in the simplest format that was handed down for centuries. They are a statement, but they are an open-ended statement. And because of that, Siddhartha went on a quest to find the answers. Listen carefully to them. And tomorrow we'll start looking at them very closely. And then after looking at each one, we'll look at how he used that package to accomplish his quest. Number one, there is suffering. Number two, there is a cause of suffering. Number three, there is a cessation of suffering. And number four, there is a path to that cessation of suffering. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. 